morning adventurers. Good morning from the town of Gosler. We are pretty much smack in the middle of Germany. We drove over here yesterday from Dresden. It was a beautiful drive, about oh, a few hours. Lovely, Wasn't yeah. too bad at all. Got to drive on the Autobahn, which is great. If you missed that video, Ooh. make sure you check that out. It'll be in the description yeah, below, but it was pretty fun. We went real fast, real fast, you guys. Today, we are going to be exploring this medieval city. We're currently, though, we're staying a little bit on the outskirts of the city. So we're walking through this adorable little park to get there. But y'all, we cannot wait to show you this town. It it's is Beautiful. about as charming as it gets it has all these old buildings there's a bunch of people buzzing around in the square with a bunch of shops and old churches we got to see it just for a minute yesterday when we went out to grab some food yeah. so we're excited to show it off and see it properly yeah it's pretty much stuck in time i'd say some lunch before we head out and we found a Vietnamese place and I got a delicious looking noodle dish check that out we got beef in there chicken shrimp noodles of course some vegetables I'll probably be removing this uh, cilantro from the top <laughs> oh man yours looks really good too nice we got pork chop suey we fell in love with chop suey when we were in the Philippines so we're yeah. trying it again it's a little man. different looking here but it smells so good it looks really nice I think we did good nice job it's not German but no, we'll get German food later because this area actually has some pretty uh, unique dishes. So we'll be trying those. But first, Vietnamese food. By the way, those dishes were both about six euro a piece, which was great because- Very uh, affordable. Yeah, very affordable. <laughs> but we wanted to just show off the architecture style in this city a little bit. So a lot of the houses, I think most of them are these kind of timber frame houses where you see the giant beams that kind of construct the frame of the house. And then some of them, maybe they're also timber framed, I don't know, but they have this rock on the outside that looks like um, slate or something like that. We didn't realize these were rocks at first, but these are actually just chunks of rock. And you can see they're kind of layered in there. It's really interesting. It looks like scales on the building. Yeah, well, we first thought that it was wood, like yeah. like wooden uh, little slats in there. But no, it's rock. But it's so cool next to the timbered houses that all look so old and cozy and nice. So you have a lot of them are this kind of single tone gray, but then some of them are like this one over here. They have a bit more kind of copper and darks and light grays in the coloration of the, uh, the wall. It's pretty cool. This house right here is called Zeman's house for the famous Zeman family. It was built in the 1690s and it's a pretty cool example of one of these timber framed houses. We read it's also one of the most photographed spots here in Gosler, so we had to come check it out. And we can understand, it's a really pretty house. It's also really easy to get away from the hustle and bustle in this town. There's like a few blocks in the center of town that are pretty crowded, but then one street over and you get a perfectly quiet residential street like this. Yeah, we haven't these, seen another person on this road yet. Yeah, they have a stone road here and not a single car has driven through. We've kind of had it all to ourselves. I really feel like, except for seeing like a car parked, that we like step back in time. Yeah. It's very neat. If you remember back to our video from Poznan in the intro, we showed off this tower in the middle of town that at noon, these two goats come out and ram each other's heads. It wasn't as exciting as we thought it was gonna be. But it was cute. <laughs> yes, but we found something that might be even better. The square here in Gosler has a tower at- At, I believe, nine, noon, three, and six. Yes, these little guys come out and they basically reenact the story of the town. That's what I guess. they say, and it plays a song and everything. Yes, so, so back here, they're about to come out and all yeah. those bells are gonna chime and play a little tune for us. I'm excited for this one. <laughs> I'm excited. There's a lot of people lined up to watch it. And that, kids, is how Gosler was created. So 
So we are currently in the main square of the town and there is a ton of history here. This fountain, for example, this big old bronze basin here was cast in the 12th century and at the time it was the biggest piece of bronze ever cast, which we read, which is insane if you think about it. And then that piece in the middle there was added about 100 years later and then the part at the top there, that gold eagle thingy up there, was added I think in the 1700s. So just a ton of history right here in this fountain. There are these little pig alligator things at the base of the fountain and I'm not exactly sure what they are, but one of them is eating a girl over there, I think. There's two of them. Yeah, two of them. <laughs> That's brutal. For dinner, we found a place called Brow House here in Gosler. It's right next to the church and just near the main square over there, so it's a really sick spot. The sun is going to be going down pretty soon. We've ordered a couple of drinks, yes. the Ramelsburg Pills. Yes, they're it's very good. Here in Gosler, they even have their own type of beer here, a gose, I guess. And yeah. pretty much all the food is cooked in it, so we're extra excited for that. Yeah. So we've put in our order. We are about to have a table full of delicious food, and I'm ready for it because I'm starving. We decided to be a little bit adventurous tonight. I ordered something called Hackus Canista, and I thought she said it was cold meatballs, but what she actually said was that it's like ham tatar, so it's raw meatballs, or meat patties over there with the onions. But we also got some potatoes with, I think like a sour cream kind of sauce on top of there with some parsley on top. And of course, a little salad on the side. I'm not that upset about it. I mean, we've had raw meat before. I've never had raw pork. That's gonna be kind of interesting, I don't know. But pretty excited to try, because it'll be a first for sure. Yeah, we also got a selection of Harz specialty. So we're at the foothill of the Harz mountain range. And so we tried to get everything that's pretty local. So the dish that Eric got is done in the Harz style, I guess. And so this is, we've got like smoked sausage on here. We've got more of the ham tatar, which we didn't really realize, or maybe we wouldn't have ordered two servings yeah, of maybe it. Not. But then we have some uh, jellied meat here. This one must be a different type of ham sausage maybe, but we have this uh, cheese over here that's like a local style. Um, we'll have to show it to you. It's like, I'm not sure what to expect, oh, but it's, it's these like, it looks like discs. potatoes. Yeah, oh, it's got like ham <laughs> itself, uh, a little gherkin there. And then I think there's uh, like a potato salad, some spicy, I think it's cheese, mustard, something like that. <laughs> get away. These bees, man, they're relentless. Get, come on, come get. Come on, come on. Get, you're gonna die. This bee ran her off. He, he left with a big chunk of her food, too. He <laughs> up in there and stole my sausage. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, okay. So, sadly, the bees won today. Y'all, at one point, I think there were three bees on my meat trying to steal it. And they were, like, you would hit them and they didn't care. It was crazy. But now we are safely indoors. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna dig right into the ham tatar. I mean, it's raw meat, so it's not like it looks that appetizing, but I'm pretty excited about it. I think it could be good. Put a little bit of this sauce on it. I'm not sure what it is, but I feel like it needs something. <laughs> Well, that's really good. The meat is really flavorful and you can see all the little chunks of fat in there. It's actually just nice, salty, delicious meat. And this sauce right here is really good. It's definitely a sour cream sauce. All right, so far so good. Now you got a bunch of other meats to try. You gotta try that meat jelly next, actually. Oh, no. It's super salty. The texture isn't so bad. It's just kind of like, um, like a chewy pork. Pork jelly is the perfect way to describe it. It's really peppery and salty. It's actually not bad. It's kind of pre presented like a big piece of sausage, like yeah. it was in a little uh, package or a casing or something. Yeah, it's really you can interesting. See it's like pretty oh, gelatinous. Oh, it's really gelatinous, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice, nice word, nice word choice. So I believe this is called Harzer Roller Cheese, and it comes in these little discs, and it's a little bit more white in the middle than the outside. I have no idea though what it's supposed to taste like. You gotta eat the whole thing. <laughs> it's interesting. It's really salty. It's not super 
overpowering cheesy, but it has an interesting taste in there, almost like the aftertaste of like um, a <laughs> Jaeger or something Polish. like that. What's like in licorice? it? Yeah, almost like, like a anise. I don't know if that's actually in there, but it's just got some interest, interesting like potency to it, and it like lingers, like almost like a mix between that and like a burnt barrel kind of taste to it. The final thing we wanted to show you guys is this imperial palace. So this was actually built in the 11th century and it only lasted as a palace for I think like 200, 250 years and then it started to go into decline. It became a court, a granary, and then it became a prison. But luckily in the late 1800s it was actually restored. So now it looks nice and beautiful. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed exploring this cute little town with us today. I know we had a good time. It was a lot of fun just strolling through the alleys and looking at all the buildings and uh, getting away from the crowds for a little while was oh, yeah. great. We were just talking about how like little German towns are maybe our favorite of yeah. all the like architecture styles. They're just so charming and adorable. But I think we are going to leave you guys here. We are going to be hitting the road again tomorrow heading further west. What town are we heading to? We are heading to, I don't remember. It's another <laughs> teeny tiny town. We're, so we're going to Elts Castle. Oh and yeah. Just, we Since we're booking so late, uh, there's not much left on Airbnb. So I'm just like expanding the map and finding anything that's available so we're staying on the little river right near there we'll keep you updated on the actual yeah. town but make sure to keep your eyes out for the videos <laughs> though because we are so excited to visit this castle it was delicious and adorable and we can't wait to see more of germany for now good night adventures we'll see you on the road <laughs>